Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com with 2019 Bowman Draft Baseball Super Jumbo Edition. Three box, half case, random team break number four from jazbeescasebreaks.com. Remember we marked all of the boxes four so we know uh, for next time that they're all from the same case. Very big thank you to all of these folks for getting into the action. We sold uh, 29 spots because there's no nationals. No nationals. So let's roll it and randomize it. Three times, two and a one. Your names first. One, two, and three. Easy. After three times, we got Glenn down to Kevin. Two and a one, three times for the teams. One, two, three. Simple as that. After three times, we've got the Giants down to the Twins. Good luck, everybody. Let's see what everyone has. All right, Glenn with the Giants, Brent with the Cubs, Josh with the Cardinals, Charles with the Rockies, EA with the Reds, Paul with the O's, Brent, you got my Dodgers, Nick with the Rays, Levi with the Yankees, EA with the M's, Bradley with the Braves, Charles with the Marlins, Ryan with the Tigers, Michael with the Angels, Randy with the White Sox, Matt Gomes with the Rangers, Jeff with the A's, Rich with the Brew Crew, EA with the Royals, Levi with the Mets, Darren with the Blue Jays, Rick K with the Phillies, Rory with the Diamondbacks, Rick K, Last Bod Mojo, Red Sox, Jeff with the Indians, Michael Kuntz with the Pirates, Rick K with the Astros, Ian with the Padres, nice, and Kevin with the Twins. Let's alphabetize by team. And we're going to pause the video really quick. And we're going to allow uh, for some trades. And when we come back, we're going to see if there's any trades. And then we'll get the break going. We'll be right back. All right, welcome back, folks. There was a lot of trade chatter, but at the end, unfortunately, no trades got done. So there it is. Three box super jumbo, number four. Bowman draft baseball. We are getting new toner, don't worry. Oh, and Brent says no thanks. Okay. So good luck to everybody here. Thanks to everyone for getting in. Rick uh, with the Red Sox, last spot mojo. All right. So I'm going to slide a couple of these boxes here, give myself a little bit of room. All right. So in the Super Jumbo, five autographs per box. A lot. Got a little bit of a Thursday night football happening here, and looks like the Cowboys are about to lose to the Bears. Bears up 31 21. With only 20 seconds left in the fourth quarter, I don't think it's going to happen for the Cowboys tonight. Hi Matt, um, you got you got the Rangers in this one. You only had one spot, I think. Rangers. All right, and Rory is on Super Fractor Watch. He's thinking, well, Jaspies has done enough cases, enough breaks where we should be should be fair to expect a Super Fractor. I'd love to see one. I'll try, Matt. I'll try to work my magic. What went on? What happened? I know there's a baseball break here, ladies and gentlemen, but we got a lot of time. <laughs> what uh? What happened with the Cowboys here? I was on the Cowboys minus points 
and I guess they're moving the ball now, but they weren't really in, they weren't really in control of the game. So it's kind of weird. Yeah, this score, this, I guess this field goal here makes this game closer than it really seems, but it's really not that close. Um, Dodgers, I think, Brent, you'd be looking for Cody Hosey. Late first round pick, third baseman out of, uh, out of college. I forget which college, but I think he's could be... Could be a future uh, corner infielder, hopefully, for the Dodgers. Maybe after Justin Turner retires or gets older. Rangers, I'm not too sure. Oh, Josh Young, I think. Rick Singh. Out of 250, Ethan Small. I don't know too much about him, but I know that's what the Rangers people have been chasing. MJ Melendez to 150. And there's your autograph, Logan Wyatt. Glenn with the Giants. Onside kick? Guess they have to. Although onside kick's been pretty neutralized in this day and age. Why is Wyatt five deep in every case where he's asking? Because they can't all be CJ Abrams's. Someone's got to take that fall. And we will do an autograph recap at the end of this break, too. Brett, what's going on? Onside kick, no good. I'm going to actually leave these autographs right here on camera. There's Cooper Johnson to 4.99. And there's John Doxakis for Nick Koba and the Rays. Uh, who wins this weekend, EAU? Well, you know what I'm going to say. I'm going to say the Raiders. Raiders being uh, been beat up the last two games by the Jets of all teams and then the Chiefs. But they play uh, they play much better at home. I I hope it's the Raiders. I don't know. At this point, their defense is so bad. And Tannehill has been playing so well. You know, and Derrick Henry can run the ball really nicely. And I think that's going to give the Raiders a lot of trouble. But I have to say, I have to say Raiders. I have to say, I have to stick with my Raiders. There's Greg Jones to 150, and we've got Speckle, Blaine Walston, and George Kirby. 99 out of 150. Nice one for the M's. EA on the board with the Mariners. There you go, Eric. On the board early. A little color on that autograph, too. I tried to trade, couldn't trade Mojo.
Yeah, good luck to you too. Should be a good game, I think, actually. It's Ryan Tannehill really, uh, really changed things. Which I was surprised about. All right, still have a couple more autographs to go. My, that's my super hot take. Yeah, super hot take. Raiders play better at home. They do. Home field advantage, uh, everyone says is three, worth three points, but actually it's, more, it's closer to two points. So out of 499, Drew Waters. But the Raiders over the last few seasons... Their home field advantage is four points, which is way above the two-point average. So yeah, Raiders play much better at home. George Kirby, another George Kirby, to four ninety-nine. I think we should have more super jumbo EA. I think maybe we're thinking we try to move some more of that hobby or the jumbo regular jumbo before super jumbo. Another George Kirby tried to trade, couldn't trade Mojo. For EA and the M's. But uh, it means everything. And they do play better at home. In general, whether you're wagering on the game or not, they, they definitely do play better at home. Some teams don't. Some teams, the edge is negligible. Like the Rams, Chargers. Yeah, JR's wondering, John's wondering, what does Jerry Jones do tomorrow? After another Cowboys loss to a team you would think that they wouldn't lose to. At least I didn't think so. What do I know? I mean, how long can Jerry Jones... But I mean, what would, would it make a difference if, if they have Kellen Moore run things on an interim basis? I mean, I don't know. Maybe. There's Jeter Downs, 250. Former Reds prospect who ended up on... The Dodgers, that's going to go to Brent. Yeah, Brian O says not getting fired and sees no chance. I wouldn't think so, but I mean. Sammy Siani with the Pirates, Michael Koontz. If they keep losing, what are you going to do? If you're Jerry Jones. You're going to keep them on even if they keep losing? I mean, what if they lose next week to the Rams? I guess there's only three games left now. Rams at Eagles and then Redskins. Yeah, that actually surprised me. I didn't think Ron Rivera would get fired midseason. That's true. I get I I guess the Cowboys are still in first place. Well, now the Eagles have to respond. And I think I think after this loss by the Cowboys here, they're really kicking themselves that they went to sleep, you know, that they went to sleep on uh on the Dolphins. Just having too much fun in South Beach. It's kind of like the you know, Aaron Rodgers said when they were in L.A. to play the Chargers, they kind of slept on them. Probably went out the night before. All right, there's your first five. All right, next one. 
SKS Cowboys fan right there. He's saying, fire everybody. Shut the stadium down. Move the Cowboys to Winnipeg. Brett's saying, uh, Brett's saying uh, that would be an insult to Winnipeg. I think, I think, I mean, I don't know. Even if even if Jason Garrett go takes the Cowboys to the playoffs and they don't lose it to the Eagles, right? I mean, he's still a liability in the playoffs. You know, you who knows what happens with the Dak Prescott contract situation, the Amari Cooper contract situation. You might not have one or two of those guys. You might not have one of those guys. This is where you have them both. Maybe you do say F it. Let's roll with let's gamble on a uh, on an interim coach, Kellen Moore. Have him run things. Get a, get some energy in the on the team, you know. And then uh, you can start your coaching search earlier. SKS is only way Garrett saves job with a Super Bowl win. You don't think they're going to fire Jason Garrett? I guess with only three games left, what's the point, right? Now, Oakland's on a good trajectory, Brian O. I think they're ahead of schedule. They're not, they're not going to be good this season, but... Defense, a lot of injuries on that defense. Got to shore some things up there, but... I think they're ahead of schedule. They're on the right trajectory going into Vegas next year. Raiders are woke, Brian L. They haven't been sleeping. They're woke now. You think Kellen Moore's fired too? Says Kellen Moore's fired as well. <laughs> SKS Steven saying, just let Jerry just let Jerry coach the team. You know that's what he wants to do. Well, I, I said the I said the Raiders were ahead of schedule. Did I say that they were going to start winning divisions now? No, I didn't say that. Yeah, Mahomes might own that division for years, but guess what? All it takes is one off year for Mahomes. And if the Raiders can take advantage of that, that'd be nice. You know, he's mortal. That ankle injury. This year, scared a lot of uh, Chiefs fans. There's Leonardo Jimenez to 499. Lincoln Riley, next coach for the Cowboys. That could be interesting. Why were there two of those in a row? Was one of those numbered? And a nice, well, no, I guess they're not different, but a nice C.J. Abrams. How about that? Refractor autograph for Ian and the Padres. 349 out of 499. There you go. Nice one, Ian. Autograph one of five in box two. Super Jumbo. I blame I blame the dice, Rory. No, yeah, Derek Carr, I'm not not too sold on. I would like to see uh I would like to see Derek Carr with some decent receivers outside of Darren Waller. 
maybe another person opposite of Tyrell Williams. I'd like to see a healthy Raiders team see what see what happens. That defense doesn't do many favors though. So Josh Jacobs is, is the real deal. He's really changed the face of that Raiders offense. Five out of fifty, Jeter Downs, gold paper. There's Miguel Amaya, green out of ninety-nine, and green Braden Shoemake. 17 out of 99 for the Braves. That'll go to Bradley. Got randomized the Braves. <laughs> Brady to the Raiders. I don't know if I don't know if that's going to happen. What is going to happen with Brady? It doesn't seem like it doesn't seem like they're going to extend him. It doesn't seem like, uh, I don't know. Oh, is Jacobs going to be out this week? All right, well, <laughs> then the Titans will, then Titans will win. Because Jacobs sets up that entire offense. And the Raiders have been so banged up on defense. I mean, they would be a mediocre defense if everybody was healthy. <laughs> but with a banged up defense and I don't know. Raiders have a lot to do, but I still think they're I still think they're ahead of schedule. They got a they got a couple of years. If they could have half the draft they did this year, I'd be happy next year, you know. There's Nick Quintana to 499. Get a wide receiver. They're pretty nice. There's Reese Hines, 008 out of 150. Would be pretty good. Reds, EA with the red legs. Maybe the random team breaks work better for you, Eric. Yeah, kind of bummed that the kind of bummed that the uh, you're welcome, EA. Kind of bummed that the uh, Bears are winning though. That hurts the uh, draft stock. Yeah, well, everyone was everyone was lols Mayock, but it seemed to work out. I guess at least for this season, he lucked out this season. If he lucked out, I'm okay with that because it seems like. Almost all of the draft picks are, are uh, uh, like decent. I'm not saying they're all pro bowlers, but, you know, are all at least solid players. At worst, if they're a foundational player, I'm okay with that. Raiders have so much rebuilding to do. But every one of those have seemed to be contributing, so I'm okay with that. Another draft or two that's similar to that, not, you know, similar to that. A couple free agent pickups here and there. Got to figure out what the Raiders are going to do in the in the quarterback situation. I mean, maybe they'll just let Derek Carr's contract go. I don't. I don't know what they're going to do with that. Because now they're in kind of a no man's land. I know, although I don't know. I mean, maybe there's. Is there a lot of quarterbacks in this year's draft? Maybe maybe a quarterback falls to them in some later rounds. They can just kind of develop. Aaron Chunked two fifty. Because they really haven't had like a, a that's a facsimile autograph, a drafted kind of backup quarterback since like, I mean, they have, but no one that could seriously threaten Derek Carr's job. So maybe he needs a little bit of that behind him. I don't know. Nick Quintana, Tigers. That'll be for Ryan. Oh, also, Brian, I saw your comment earlier about what, about what if the Redskins end up winning the NFC East. I thought that was kind of funny. How funny would that be if the Redskins end up winning? I think they're still mathematically in it, right? I know it's a baseball break, folks, but there's too much football news happening here. Stove is hot stove, not as, not as hot right now. Where, where's the NFC East in my standings? Do they have a shot? Like, I guess they could go <laughs> if they could win the next three games. How funny if they won the division at like six and nine or something like that. Yeah, 
Interesting. Edward saying just take Tua with one of those first two rounders since he should slide. Is Tua going to even be able to play next year? Maybe not, right? So you just draft him and then let him marinate and get value in Tua? That's a good idea. And have Derek Carr be like, hey, Derek, Tua is right there. <laughs> you know, you either step up or we got, we got a kid ready to take your job after he marinates. You know, we're just going to let him get healthy. We'll let him chill. Could be interesting. I mean, think about the, the Patriots had a shot at getting Lamar Jackson. From what I recall, right? They had a chance at Lamar Jackson. So I'm sure they're kicking themselves. For not taking Lamar Jackson. There's Brandon Lewis. Brandon Lewis. 124 out of 250. And there's Bryson Stott for Rick K and the Phillies. That's your fifth autograph. We've got one more box to go. That's true, yeah. The Bears did trade up to two to get Trubisky over Mahomes and Watson. So who knows? Yeah. It's a crapshoot, I guess. All right. Sorry, Matt Gomes. That's, that's, that's every day. I make half the people happy and half the people sad. I don't like it, but... The way it goes in this wild, wild hobby. Who is it time for, Rory? Corbin Carroll. All right, Corbin Carroll. That's out. That's out there in the universe now. Jason Garrett does not look happy in this post gamer post game presser. Brian, do you have a? You have a Who Am I game for us? Corbin Carroll? Yeah, Rory, tell us about Corbin Carroll. Why is he interesting to you? Could be a Lodolo autograph in here somewhere. We do have five autographs left in this last box. Why not? Why not a Lodolo? Why not a Super Fractor in here somewhere for somebody? I haven't seen a Super yet. Last box, I guess you can see that's the stack of stuff we've done already. This is the last box right here. I 
And Mojo Jojo is here looking for some Andrew Vaughn autographs. I don't think we've seen any Andrew Vaughn lately. Uh, no, we didn't. I don't think there's a standard hobby version of this, is there? Maybe there might be. We don't have any of those though. Tyler Baum to 150 paper. Alec Baum. That's that's. I know it's not intentional, but that's different last names. But. And Spencer Steer for the Twins. Kevin Rock with the Twinkies. There you go. Adley Rushman is in this. That's exactly who Paul Hutchins with the Orioles is looking for in uh, Super Jumbo Random Team 4. I think we pulled his auto in the last Jumbo case. Number one overall pick in 2019 MLB Draft. There's Izzy Wilson to 250 paper for the Rays. And there's Gold Jared Kalanick, 45 out of 50. And that is for EA and the M's. And there's Ryan Zafurion. That's right, EA. Only two things that come, that come out of Texas. Classic line from Full Metal Jacket. Chrome here. I got Cal Mitchell to four ninety nine, hustling, and a Dominic Fletcher for Rory and the Diamondbacks. Speckle, that's to seventy one. Rory, forty two. Jackie, Jackie Robinson now to seventy one. And Tyler Baum, Oakland A's, Jeff Iveson with that one. Well, I think uh, Tyler would be interested in that Kalanick EA. So that's four autographs right there. We've got one more to go. All right, one more stack to go. Looks like he's holding on to the Kalanick, Tyler. <laughs> he is like, I should try to trade more often. 
until someone accepts your trade. I don't know. I'm thinking maybe EA try some random teams more often whenever they're available because I feel like, I don't know. I feel like I'm, I'm, I'm calling your name out a little bit more in random team breaks than in pick your team breaks. Still should be should have one more autograph in here somewhere. Who's it gonna be? It's gonna be here? No, not in this spot. Usually it ends up in that spot. There's Spencer Brickhouse, cause she's a brick house. Goes to Rory. And the last autograph of Super Jumbo Random Team 3, Half Case Random Team 3, is gonna be Noah Song. 29 out of 250. And you can tell everybody it's Noah Song. There you go. Red Sox, Rick K. Last spot mojo. An autograph at the end. Remember, paper won't ship, but all the chrome will ship. And obviously, numbered paper will ship. Thanks, everyone, for getting in. We've got more Bowman draft. Pick your teams in the store. I'm sure we'll have some more Super Jumbo randoms, too. But pick your teams tonight, folks. We won't be able to do it until tomorrow. But pick your teams tonight because... Nick may pop some of those teams into a team random or a random number block or something wild like that. So I would advise everyone to get their teams now if you see them before they're tucked away into a team random tomorrow. But I'm sure we'll knock out a couple cases tomorrow as well. And there you have it. Paper, 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 paper. And there you go. No randomizers? Nothing. Quick recap? Sure. Let's do a quick recap. Noah Song, Baum, Fletcher, Zervjan, Steer, Stott, Quintana, Hines, uh, Shoemake, CJ Abrams was nice, Siani, Kirby, Kirby, Doc Sackis, and Wyatt Earp. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Super Jumbo in the books. Thanks for watching, everyone. This is Joe. We'll break with you next time. Bye-bye.